Hi guys, this is a Simon Expert. Today let's look at the following case. We have a ball which is initially at rest and we're given the mass of this ball. It falls from the height 3 meters vertically downwards and collides with the surface. After that it bounces up to 2 meters. We know that collision takes place during this period of time. Let's find the momentum of the ball immediately before and after the collision, also the impulse imparted to the ball and the average force exerted by the ground on the ball. So let's begin. First of all, when there is a collision of two objects like the ball and the surface, there is a transformation of energy. Kinetic energy transforms into potential energy. So here we need to apply the law of conservation of energy, which goes like this. Potential energy equals kinetic energy. And this is in our case the following. MGH is the potential energy equals one half times MV squared, the kinetic energy. Here M is the mass of the ball, G is the free fall acceleration, H is the height and V is the velocity of the ball. Now in this formula we can cancel out M and now we can derive V, velocity of the ball. So let's find the velocity of the ball before and after the collision. First, the velocity of the ball before the collision. V1 equals the square root of 2 GH1, which is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 3. And we get 7.67 meters per second. Now, velocity of the ball after the collision V2 equals the square root of 2 times GH2. And this is equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8 times 2, and we get 6.26 meters per second. Now, as we know the velocities of the ball before and after the collision, let's recall that momentum is actually the product of the mass of an object and its velocity. So, using these two velocities, we can find momentum of the ball before and after the collision. Momentum before the collision, P1, equals m times v1 and this is equal to 8 times 10 raised to the negative second power times 7.67 and we get 0 0.61 kilograms times meter per second and momentum of the ball after all right guys so we just found the momentum of the ball before and after the collision with the ground now, to find the impulse of the ball, let's recall what is impulse from its definition. Impulse J equals M times delta V. So we have the mass of the ball and the change of the speed. And this is actually the difference of two momentums, P1 minus P2. So the impulse of the ball, J, will be 0 0.61, the momentum of the ball before the collision, minus 0 0.5, momentum after the collision and we get 0 0.11 kilograms times meters per second. Now let's recall another definition of the impulse. J also equals the average force exerted to the ball times the period of time in which this force is exerted, delta T. So from this formula we can now derive the average force exerted to the ball, F. And F equals J divided by delta T which is in our case 0 0.11 divided by 5 times 10 raised to the negative third power. And we get 22 newtons. So here we found the average force exerted by the ground on the ball, the impulse of the ball, and we also found the momentum of the ball before and after the collision. So basically that's all for today. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.